What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerdvengers Tower, and oh, baby, 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 baby. We got some new footage for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness in a new 30-second spot. I want to talk about the new footage and some of the things that I think it means and how Feige is continuing to play games with us and make things appear differently in the trailers than they will in the Ultimate movie. And I also want to break down some of the reveal secrets, cameos, and questions that folks have about Multiverse of Madness, some insiders have been speaking up about some possibilities that match up with cool things that I've heard as well. So we're going to get into this, but it's worth mentioning that this trailer was put out to introduce the fact that tickets go on sale April 6th of this week. So that's pretty freaking awesome, and this trailer looks absolutely amazing, and of course all the buzz and things we've heard about Multiverse of Madness sound crazy, so many, many people are going to be trying to hit that refresh button to get those tickets. It's Tuesday night slash Wednesday morning. Good luck to you if you're out there trying to get it. And uh, let me know in the comment section, do you think that the Fandango website will crash? Now, when it comes to this new trailer, there are some new things in here, including dialogue bits. When Strange goes to confront Wanda, he talks about the Avengers and putting her back on the lunchbox, which I thought was cool. There are other Avengers. We'll get you back on the lunchbox. There's a new crazy spot of a massive explosion in that Illuminati slash multiversal Avengers compound that we've seen in the other trailers. And then there's monsters seemingly fighting Wanda and Wong. And I guess now is a good time to give a big old spoiler warning because even though a lot of the marketing for Multiverse of Madness is making you believe a certain thing, according to different leaks, insiders, and reports, we have a pretty good idea of what is actually going on in this trailer and how it fits into the way we think the movie will play out. So get out of here if you don't want to know what's actually going on in this trailer. So let's begin with this shot here in the Illuminati headquarters and this massive of explosion. I mean, this looks really crazy, and it is cut in a way that makes it seem like this character here is bursting into this building and then fighting against Wanda. But regardless, this explosion is massive, and it appears to me that this is likely the Monica Rambeau Captain Marvel going binary, being in the binary form that we have seen in the Captain Marvel movie, and she's doing some kind of supernova explosion explosion attack on Wanda or Wanda is just crushing her and causing her to literally explode. Because again, our best guess as to what's happening in the film at this portion of the movie is that Wanda has infiltrated the body of a different Wanda, a Wanda that is there at this location with the Illuminati and the Multiversal Avenger. And we think this explosion is going to happen after a battle that our Wanda has with Professor X, and that fight is is likely to be taking place inside Wanda's mind. According to the leaks and the reports, Professor Xavier is going to be inside of the mind of Wanda in that place, trying to reach the actual Wanda that is there and get her to take back control of her body from the evil Wanda, our Wanda. And this is not going to go well for Charles. He's going to be decimated by Wanda, and we've heard that everybody in this location is also going to be decimated by by Wanda. Now, as a quick refresher for folks that maybe don't remember, there actually was a legitimate merchandise leak that happened months ago that had Avengers merch t-shirts that were available for Multiverse of Madness. And in the description of that merchandise, they talk about how a multiversal group of Avengers will make their appearance in the Multiverse of Madness. And that lines up with things that leakers had said in the past about how the Illuminati was going to get helpers to come into this scene and help try to stop Wanda. And we think one of the helpers in this situation is going to be Magneto. Now, we don't see Magneto in any of these shots or anything like that but that is in there in the very reliable rumor mill so even though the marketing is trying to get us to believe that evil doctor strange is the big bad of this movie that's not what's going on wanda is going to be the big bad and in this sequence here in this illuminati slash multiversal avengers place she is going to freak out and pretty much decimate everybody on a small side note here the leaks that came out a couple of weeks ago about the post credit scene with deadpool walking through this same location, looking at all the carnage, making a joke about The Office and John Krasinski. 
Krasinski being there and also making a joke about Professor Xavier dying for the third time. That's legitimate. Now, Marvel might change that post credit scene, make alterations to it or cut it out completely. But I am telling you that I believe that scene, that post credit scene is 100% real that matches up with all of the leaks and it shows us a little bit of what this location is going to be and how important it's going to be to this film and the MCU moving forward. Now, the other part of this trailer that has a lot of people talking is, of course, the sequence with Wong and Wanda and these monsters. And it's been really cool watching people on social media come up with different theories and ideas about what is happening in this scene. For a moment, there was a belief that there was only one monster and it was Cthulhu or Cthulhu, however you say that friggin' dude's name. I think it's Cthulhu. Well, Cthulhu, of course, is the person that created the Darkhold book in Marvel Comics. There's a deep, rich history of this character in Marvel Comics, and it's very likely that this Darkhold castle location, which has been in many of the different leaks, is where this scene is taking place. And so it's natural. Many people thought this was going to be Cthulhu. Thon, Cthulhu, Wooney. Kaboom! More like it. But I think these are just generic, run of the mill monster bad guys that might come from Cthulhu or his realm, but they're ultimately all being controlled by Wanda. You can see the red glow in their eyes, and I believe they are doing weird editing in this scene in the trailer to make it seem like they're surrounded by monsters and Wong and Wanda are going to be facing off and fighting against them. But instead, what I think is happening here is Wong is being mind controlled just like these monsters will be mind controlled, and all of them will essentially be pawns of Wanda trying to prevent our Doctor Strange, who I think will actually be possessing a dead body of a variant. Yeah, Wanda's gonna be trying to stop him from coming in and stopping her from accessing the Darkhold that's in Darkhold Castle to bring her children into our reality. And I know many people are having trouble wrapping their head around this, but it's obviously not the first time Marvel has changed things in their trailer and done things specifically to try to throw us off. I mean, the most recent example was when they slipped up and had a shot where the lizard is getting kicked or punched by thin air. Of course, this was because they removed Andrew Garfield, I think Spider-Man, uh, from that big sequence. Marvel does this all the time. They've been doing it for years, but specifically with Multiverse of Madness, there are a lot of secrets and things that they are trying to keep from people, well, frankly, like me and like you that are watching this video. And so what I believe is going on here is that this is towards the end of the movie. Wong is being possessed by Wong and is fighting with Wanda and these monsters against Doctor Strange as he's trying to stop the Scarlet Witch. Now, it is technically possible that at the very last moment of the movie, Wanda becomes free of the Darkhold's corruption and control on her, and she's no longer using the chaos magic and instead is now fighting with Wong against the monsters of the Darkhold. If that happened, I think it is something they've changed in reshoots, and honestly, I don't think that's what's going on. I think the ending is really going to remain much the same it has always been, and they've actually removed stuff that wasn't quite working for the pacing of the film, as we now have an official runtime of the movie at being two hours and six minutes. Which, by the way, some people got upset about that because it's not long enough. I think that's crazy. This movie is going to do a lot and set us up for a ton of exciting stuff in the future. We're all going to watch it a million times. Anyways, I am totally down with two hours and six minutes. But wait, because we must talk talk about Tom Cruise Iron Man and no I'm not referring to this character who again I think is either Monica or Maria Rambo as a Captain Marvel variant it's definitely not superior Iron Man people be crazy but as fate would have it Grace Randolph recently talked about something that I actually reported on a long time ago and that is that Tom Cruise took a secret trip to Atlanta while filming the most recent Mission Impossible movie this was months and months ago I talked about this on various live streams because somebody close to me that's an insider had indicated that this was a thing and they thought it was possible that Tom Cruise was shooting secret stuff for Multiverse of Madness. And I know there's a lot of reports that he's not in the movie currently, but Grace is sort of hinting at the fact that he will be brought into the MCU either in Multiverse of Madness or something else coming soon. And this is a great time to remind you guys that they've done a lot of crazy shit. 
shit when it comes to the multiverse of madness they shot a movie they reshot basically enough to create a whole nother movie and they did additional photography after that it's very likely marvel is doing some unprecedented things like keeping huge reveals out of cuts that are being seen even currently by a bunch of people on the inside test screens or potentially even for the premiere or for press screenings. That would be nuts. Imagine the press sees a cut of the movie that's slightly different than the one we end up seeing when we actually go check it out in theaters. I don't know if that'll be the case, but for now it appears as though Marvel is really doing weird stuff to hide things. And I wanted to bring this Tom Cruise thing up to you because I continue to say I believe Tom Cruise will be in this movie. And I think that all of these reports you're hearing about how he's not in there are from people that have either seen a different cut of the movie or they have sources that have seen a different cut of the movie you let me know your thoughts like this video if you liked it and as i always say i hope you are having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video